The MACD indicator is super popular with traders and adding it to your expert advisor couldn't be easier. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get the MACD straight into your MetaTrader 5 expert advisor. So check it out. There's a few things you need in order to complete this episode. First, I really recommend that you spend some time getting a basic MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor up and running. You can use your on init, dnit, and on tick functions in order to get that to happen. And some of my early episodes will show you how to do that. Secondly, it's really helpful to have a working MetaTrader 5 terminal right beside you as you're working. That allows you to test what you're building straight away, which can be a lot of fun and also super helpful. And don't forget, if you ever get stuck, you can join our helpful Discord community where I and some of my team are always online helping people as we can. So join it if you want to get some help and have a bit of fun. All right, let's get into the code. I'll see you there. You can see here that I've already got the basic functions that we need on a net, on DNet, and on tick. Let's go and add in the MACD. I'm going to start by adding in some input parameters. These are the standard ones that you're going to need for every time you calculate an MACD. And we're going to just put them as the defaults for now. So we have our fast EMA, Slow EMA is equal to 26, and our signal EMA is going to be equal to 9. So there's the standard values, and we'll use these a little bit later on. Now we want to create our EMA function, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to return a double every time we do it, and we're going to be looking for to have a parameter which is this, the type of value we want to get back from it. And we'll be looking at two values the MACD histogram and the MACD signal. The first thing we need to do is create a buffer for the MACD. Oops. We need to convert it into an array. I'm going to create a handle for it. MACD is the indicator that you can retrieve and we're going to be adding these parameters so we have symbol underscore period now these two values effectively say that whatever chart you attach this um, expert advisor to will return those values and we're going to be adding in our fast EMA slow EMA signal SMA and we're going to be using the price Close price of this particular candle. So you can see these things here are the ones from up here. What we want to do now is to check that the handle is valid. So let's check. It's valid, so MACD handle is valid. We just print a value and return zero. Then we want to check what kind of value we have in our value type. So if the value type is histogram, we want to get this first value from it. And you can find the specification for that in the IMSED for MetaTrader 5 if you want to. Then we want to check if it's a signal. So we want to, if it's a signal, then we want to copy the first value there, the one value. And if it's neither of those, we're going to be returning that it's an invalid. Then we want to check that the MACD buffer is not empty. All of that passes, and I want to return the MACD buffer of zero. 
So far, so good. Let's compile that and make sure that it works. Great, no issues. However, you might notice that here we're just returning the zero value and that may not be what we actually want to do. We may be wanting returning, want to return a previous value of the MACD and this will be particularly helpful in the next episodes where I show you how to get things like a zero cross with a signal and this together. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we can do that by going back up here and adding in another input, which is going to be an int, which is going to be the number of candles. This one here will say how many candles back we want to go. Then we need to update our MACD to show what that looks like. So here is how we go about doing that. First, we need to add one to the number of candles. Here. You can see here I've already added it and we can use MACD. 